It's Shoshi and we are live. It is a no, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, and I actually am going to be doing a whole stream today. So yay! Let me know if you can hear me and see me. I think you can. And yeah, we're we're trying to figure out our bot. So I'm really excited today. We're going to be painting Oktoberfest Aya from Kingdom Death. You guys know I have a very. Let's do the light so that you can actually. There we go. <gasps> There we go. <laughs> There's a thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> Oktoberfest Aya. Let's take a look at her overhead. She is a cutie. She has the booty. She has no pants. She may not be safe for work because she has no pants. Does she even have undies? Yes, she has a like a bodysuit on with an apron and a garter and some sneakers and some sort of little wrist cuffs and a Einflask beer. 
You just finished her? Yes, she is such a cute model. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start right in on her. I gotta finish one quick thing. This, I'm just gonna drill a hole in here. This is her arm. I wanna be able to put this on a piece. I wanna pin this basically. So that way I can hold it with the paper clip. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Also, Lamunas, I'm so excited to get to come to Michigan tomorrow. Looking like it's, it might be a little bit cloudy, but Mike thinks that it's still gonna be good enough to travel. And we can come and have barbecue in Michigan and get all of your amazing commissions to you. Yay! Let's see. Guten Abend. Guten Abend with a D. I guess you could say Guten Abend. Abend. Abend is just evening. Uh, by me, it's, it's Morgen. Nine. Yeah, Morgen. <laughs> My German is super rusty. Yeah. Ja, ich auch. But we're gonna do, we're gonna have fun with this because I, you guys know I like to speak a little German. We're gonna have a little fun with Oktoberfest, Aya. I need to find a paper clip. I had a bunch just a second ago. I had a whole bunch. All right, here's what, oh, because they're sitting right by me. That's why. It's always when it's right in front of my face, I can't find anything. If weather looks too rough, you understand postponing? Yes, don't worry, we'll let you know either way. It'll be, it'll be okay. There we go. Let's see if that fits in there. Yep. Doo -doo. Did anybody got, get a chance to watch the box opening that I did last night? I posted it on both my Instagram and Facebook. I got a hold of a Mantis garage kit from Saz and Lee. And I'm so psyched. I cannot wait to paint it. I'm probably not going to paint it on stream because I want it to be perfect. And I don't think I can get the level I want on stream. And it's for me, so. Yes, I know, it's so cool, isn't it, Mauser? Ah, <sighs> so, so cool. <laughs> I posted some pictures of it on Instagram as well as, there we go, so she has a little, sh oh, that's her serving tray. I thought this was a shield at first, but it's a, it, I guess it could be a shield and a serving tray, but it's meant to be a serving tray. So there she is, and there is her beer keg with her Kingdom Death face. It looks like, I'm trying to think of who that is. Might be the Gold Smoke Knight on the end of that. That looks pretty cool. That would make sense. And then beer is just sloshing out the side, and she is she is sitting in a puddle of beer with her, her mug. Has anyone ever actually been to Oktoberfest in Germany, in Bavaria? That's something I probably won't ever do because I don't really drink. And I also um, don't want to be surrounded by drunk people. Maharoon, thank you so much for the raid. Look, Maharoon, we're, we're painting Oktoberfest Aya from Kingdom Death. Yay, Maha. All right, hold on. I'm going to give Maharoon a shout out real quick because she is a friend of the stream. There she is. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. How are you, Maha? I saw you streaming earlier. We usually host Maha when um when we're not online. So right before stream, like right before I stream, I'll like usually take that down in the middle of it. Hey. <laughs> yes, I miss your face too. We should we should hang out again sometime soon. All right, we're gonna we're gonna prime this in white because a lot of a lot of her colors, where's my box? A lot of her colors are fairly light colored and I kind of want to do this beautiful sort of pastel. She's got red hair, but everything else is very pale. She's very cute and pale. And I, I'm gonna really emphasize this watercolor. I, maybe, we'll see. We're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. Hi, hi Carlos. So we've got Steinal Res Primer, we've got up. We have a little bit of thinner, just a little bit of thinner. Always blow through the thinner. You love her coloring? Yes, me too. Okay, let me put my mask on to save my lungs. 
You agree stream was good? You were working on Magnus and his wings. Awesome. You're, that Magnus is looking so fantastic already. Okay, hold on. I gotta take my hat off and everything for this. There we go. That's Josie. Woohoo! All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Ooh, that's a little loud. <laughs> Apparently, you can. <laughs> All right, we're all set. We're ready to airbrush. And I've got my primer. Yes. <laughs> this is Steinal Res White. White primer. I usually like to get these small bottles. And I, can't, I, have, a, I have big bottles back here. And then I just refill the smaller ones. It's so much easier. Because I really don't need a giant bottle of primer on my desk. Okay. Hi, Ravage. How are you? I'm just going to put about a fourth of a cup in there. And then we'll, we'll I want you to see how I, we're going to test this out. You can see the little dot. This is about what we want. We want a soft, smoky dot. So that's how I'm going to start. We're going to start with Aya. There's the booty. She has an apple bottom. Is that what that's called? And I'm just going to start working my way around the model, priming. And I'm not blowing a lot in one place because I want to have a very smooth surface. So again, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm working around the models and it, she doesn't need to be a hundred percent completely covered either just enough to give the model some teeth also the reason why i like to use steinal res white um and this particular bottle is technically sponsored by Badger because they did give it to me. Although I do buy it every now and then too. See, we're just working around the model very smooth. Oh, am I running out? Sometimes you gotta watch, you gotta watch white. It will create a little poopy on the end of your airbrush. Real mousy. <laughs> My cadooter. Wait. What did I miss? Oh, Mikey R. Hi. Is it coming out? It's not coming out. You can tell. Give it a little blast and then. There we go. How are you doing, Mikey? By the way, this particular model was sent to me from my friend Sam. She, um,. She didn't want the larger models, just the little miniature ones. There's a 30 millimeter um, Aya as well. And so she gave me this one and I thought that was awesome because now we can do this one as like a, a giveaway and I can keep the other one for my, my own collection. All right, we're almost done getting her primed. That looks pretty good. I'm looking for some other spots here. All right, that's that's looking pretty dang good. That's how you want it to look, very smooth. I'm just gonna set that down. It looks like it might be dry. Get this out. This is her little serving tray slash shield. Could be both, really. It's Kingdom Death. Flip it. So nobody answered me if anybody went to Oktoberfest in Germany before. <laughs> Mias is not a real... Oh, Mias is not a mouth. You've been lugging 18 millimeter thick MDF sheets up and down stairs. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a chore.
All right, that's pretty good. Let's do the sides real quick because I'm looking at the sides and I'm seeing that. There we go. Okay, last but not least, her little beer, beer keg. How do you say keg in German? Or cask. Maybe it's called a cask. I found out that my German ancestors, so I have always known, at least recently, I haven't always known. I should take that back. When I started doing my German genealogy, I found out that one of my ancestors owned a vineyard, but not in Bavaria, in Baden-Württemberg. Um, there we go. All right, I'm just being really careful. I'm just going to let this dry, too. Whew. All right. You'd like to go to Op Oktoberfest? I'm sure it will happen one day. Yeah. I think October... Oh, I looked, and Oktoberfest is completely canceled this year, which makes sense. If they're going to cancel it, this would be the year to do it. So... Everybody can just have an Oktoberfest in their home and drink alone. <laughs> Oops. Did you see that? I just set it down, upside down. All right. I'm going to rinse this out as much as I can. Here's my spray through airbrush cleaner here. And I'm going to dump that. I have a thing of water here somewhere as well. Here it is. It says... Water. Water is cheaper than spray through airbrush cleaner, so I'm going to do that first. There we go. Okay. Painting Cricks, thank you for the subscription. Yay, almost three years. Holy cow. 34 months. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's crazy. Can you believe that? You've subscribed for three years. I really, really appreciate your support. All right, now, hang on one second. I'm just going to let this soak a tiny bit while we write down Kim Crix's name. Because this guy is some hype. We need more hype than that. This is three years of hype. Okay. Painting. And Painting Cricks has been following me on, like, Facebook for even longer than that. Probably since I started painting minis professionally. He was one of my first, first Facebook followers, which was crazy. I know. I don't know why my bot's not working. Some people are, I'm not even able to do it, but le at least, uh, at least Rumble's able to do it. Alright, we're just draining... See, what happens is the paint will kind of solidify in the sides. There we go. I think it's coming through. Robosh! I just sent your package the other day, Robosh. By the way, everybody who, sus who subscribed and won a subscription um, giveaway this month, last month, I mailed all the stuff already. And so, if you'd like the tracking number, send me a message so I don't forget to send you one. If I already sent um, Rumble's wife, um, I sent you the, there we go, Ravash, 15 months, thank you so much, there we go, there's some good hype, thank you Keith Speaks, <laughs> see it's working for Keith Speaks, why isn't it working for me, alright, I'm trying to make this go through, it's, there, it's starting to go down now, because the tip got a little bit solidified. I need to buy some more airbrush needles. Whenever I buy an airbrush needle, I always buy at least two. One to replace the one I just put in. Is that, yeah, that's the right stuff. And the other one is um, to, to have a backup. 
I always buy at least two, if not more. Most of the time I buy more. You were thrilled to see somebody painting this model for October. Yeah, I, I'm getting organized. It's kind of nice. So with being organized, I can kind of look through my collection and see like, what do I have that will be in theme with this month? And so I've got two in theme Kingdom Death models that I'm gonna be painting. And I'm so excited about both of them. I'm gonna be painting the holiday white speaker, the Halloween holiday white speaker on the last day of this month. So that'll be neat. All right, let's take this out. I need to make sure this is relatively clean. There we go. I think that needle might be a little bit. Let's do this. Let's add some water to the cup. Just blast it through. There we go. Oh, it's backwashing a little bit. There we go. Because there's no needle. All right. Oh yeah, are you reboarding the floor or the loft? That is interesting. Is the holiday white speaker Nico? No, it's not. It's I don't think it is. It's a different girl, I think. Well maybe it is. No, it's not Nico. Nico has the white hair. She's or the the short haircut. This is just a re regular white speaker, I believe. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I got these game. I got this recipe from one of the um, the one of my Twitter follow, uh, Twitter people I follow on Twitter. There's a, a set of uh, Japanese painters that are just fantastic, and this is a recipe they gave me. I'm going to start with this rosy flesh. I think I can't remember whether I start with the cadmium. This is more, yeah, actually, I think it is with this more carroty color. So this is game color. It needs to be thinned out quite a bit. I have some, one second, I'm going to grab a bunch of these little thingamabobs here to pour paint. These are little blister pack covers. Keep these around because they can be really handy. You want to do more music? You need a bigger desk for speakers. What kind of music do you do, Mikey? We're going to put some thinner in here. Just, ooh, that might be too much. Well, well, let's see. We can always add more paint, I guess. And I'm going mm, to dump out a little bit of that thinner. That might be too much thinner. There, that's about, be that's better. Ooh, see, now that's too much paint. Uh, okay. And I've got a brush. Let's see. Yeah, that's way too much paint. Okay, that's okay. We'll 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 make use of it. We'll make use of it. Now we need a little a little bit more thinner. There we go. We need to be runny like airbrush paint. There we go. That looks perfect. That might actually be the just right amount of paint. We'll see. We shall see. Mm. It's a good amount. Okay. And I don't I don't like to rinse my brush. Hold on one second. I like to wipe it and then rinse it because that way not as much paint and pigment goes in the water. And then wipe it some more. See, so much left. So I have some cool news. I'm taking a week off in a November. To go see this, there's a sandhill crane migration that I want to go see with Mike for my birthday. Ah, this is perfect. Do you see that beautiful, soft, fuzzy dot? That's what we're going to start on her butt because, hold on, something, I hear something funny. That's not good. Oh, it's still making funny noises. Okay, let's try to see if I can get this right. Nope. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to paint without it. Let's see what happens. Is this with that? 
That crackle's making me nervous. Yeah, I don't like that crackle sound at all. Oh no, hold on. There's some sort of fuzzball schmutz on her booty. Take my glasses off to see if I can. St oh man, it's like she, so she sat on some cardboard, and now there's these little. She has a hairy booty. That's not cool. Let's see if I can get that off. No. What is that from? That was not there before, I swear to God. Was that from the construction paper? I bet it was. Yeah, I said her don't don't use construction paper, Shosh. Let's get this fibers. There's all these little hairy fibers all over her tuchus. It's a zoftig tuchus. Okay. Oh, I, I don't want to paint on her shirt, just her arms. Hmm. We might actually do a slightly see through top, in which case, I'll just put a little bit of boob color on there in advance. We'll have it be naughty. So if you are under the age of 18, Kingdom Death is not for you. It is an adult themed game. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're going to get the rest of these legs. My glasses are currently off, so if you want me to reply to you directly, just make sure to do at show she's me, so, so I make sure I see you in the comments. Okay. Alright, she's looking much better now. I'm just going to look, I'm just looking in the top of her arm. There we go. I'm glass beer, but uh... all right, that's pretty good. We'll leave that there, and then we'll do this, and then I'll look at chat. I guess she's got a whole glove on, so I. I guess I missed that in the pic. Oh no, wait, they're fingerless gloves. So we'll get those fingerless gloves. Okay. Nothing else. I think that's all good. All right. Way too much paint. Oh no. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just dump this. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to add just a smidge of thinner. And then blow it through. Here's where's my thing. Good, good, good. Get most of that cleared out. We can actually run the whole. Oh, I'm spilling. Carlos, thank you for the for the um, host. I do really appreciate that. Let me check chat while we're at it. Booty schmutz. <laughs> Yes, guitar-y type rock stuff is what you do. Awesome. Airbrushing some peachy cheeks. Yes. Yep. It's a zoftig booty. booty. Zoftig tuchus. Zoftig in Yiddish literally means juicy. And I think it means the same thing in German. But it's slang for like, you know, squeezable. Right? Like, or juicy. <laughs> Hi! The real brush guy is here. 
How are you doing? All right, let's go. Neener? Hi, Neener. How are you doing? Okay, I still hear a crackling from this. You're on your brother's account, you're a girl. No problem. I don't think I... I don't think I gendered you either way. I usually don't unless I I know or I have a good idea. But no no matter. Uh oh, hold on one second. I think it's coming from this needle being bent. You're fine Friday night and holidays ahead? Yes. Alright. There, now I don't hear that rattling. That's good standing desk kind of guy. <laughs> All right, so we made a whole ton of paint we didn't need to do. That's totally fine. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just wipe this out. Sometimes it's easier just to wipe out and then start over. There we go. Now, we're going to go lighter. I'm thinking and let's, let's use this. Hi, Zen for one. How is it going? Let's just put a little bit in there. Yep, that's going to be good. You know, or I might just go straight to this. I need a mic under the mask. Yeah, I try. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit muffled, but it's better that I can breathe. Right? I'm sorry if you can't understand me as well. Oh. Okay, this, I just put, thin, did I put thinner in there? I think I did. All right, we're making, we're making watered down paint. There we go. That's really watered down. Okay, I'm going to put that on. This will give her a little bit of color zone variation. <laughs> yeah, that's probably more than enough. And again, we're going to, we want nice, soft, fuzzy. Oops, see how that's, you can't even see. So this one, it's it's spidered a little bit, so I need to be very careful how I brush this on. All right, I'm going to try this. Ah, that's working great. I can still hear the rattle, but it's not as bad as it, as it was. Ah. Uh. I need to let that dry some because I'm seeing, there we go. That's better. Let's do some on the top of her knee. And on this knee over here. better. Okay. Elbow. Alright, so now this is dry. I can go back to smoothing out this area on the back of her her butt cheek. Okay. Slowly getting lighter and lighter as we go. Now, I'm going to do this down. i got to take my glasses off for this part. Hold on. I'm going to do the highlights of her face. Uh-oh. See, now i got... The paint is a little too thin. Hang on one second. I'm going to try to attempt to fix this. More schmutz. Schmutz. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this paint to this mix. Just a little bit. Lighten it up a little bit. Whew. Okay. Much better. 
do, 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 do. Okay, and a little more thinner. Just a little tiny bit of thinner. Okay. Okay. Now, my hope is that this will mix with this and do just thicken that up just a tiny bit. Much better. Okay. Let's see if I can make a little dot. Good. Much better. Okay, so. We're getting lighter. There's a lot of nuances on here that I'm trying to be real careful about here. Mm. Okay, so this is the part where I need to dump this. Just need to scrap it and go straight to that light color. She's really fair. All right, glass back on. I have said it 85 times. My goodness. Seven years of tie boxing toughened up my core. Wow, that's amazing. That's a long commitment. It's really great. The longest I've ever done a martial art consecutively was two or three years, which is really good. I mean, that's really good. Maybe three years. Yeah. <laughs> More booty smooth. All right, I'm running this all the way through just to get this other paint out of here. Okay, it's mostly out. There we go. That's when I know it's out, when I hear that little at the end. All right, one more. Skull64, thank you so much for following. How are you? All right. Do, do, do. By the way, if you're actually from Germany, I'm. You should, you should Google some Oktoberfest in the United States. It's kind of sad and scary. <laughs> okay, actually, okay. I'm gonna put thinner. I'm gonna put this directly in the cup. I think. Ooh, that's still pretty dirty. Let's see if I can clean that some more. What was the game color flesh I used then? This, the lightest one is called pale flesh. I'll show it to you. This is the lightest one. 720.003 pale flesh. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of it. There we go. A little bit of thinner. I want about one to one thinner and paint. Maybe a little bit. No, that actually, I think that's going to be perfect. Okay. Can you see how I, when I pull it up against on the side here, you can kind of, you can't see through it, but it's runny. All right. Now. Let's try it. Let's try the booty here. We're going to do the highlighting. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. See how it's starting to get lighter? Let's just do one volume at a time. It's better to do little short bursts. There we go. Let's do the top. That's already better. Yep. Let's do the top of the knee.
trying to get that leg a little bit lighter. Good. Now I'm going to shoot the same direction as her leg, right? Oops, I got a little, see that little bit of extra right there? Let's see if I can clean that up real quick before it dries. Whoops, not that brush. Didn't blend that in. Yep, perfect. Sometimes if you get a little overspray, you can, you can blend it. Okay. There we go. Whew. Let's do her face. Careful, careful. What I'm look, what I'm going for is that kind of um, super smooth anime skin, and that's why I'm doing doing it this way. It's different than the skin that you guys have seen me paint usually. Is it even coming out? Gotta check. Okay, it's just thin glazes right now. Okay, nice. <sighs> I feel like I want to do a little bit of, of white in there. Just a tiny bit, because I want her to be kind of pale. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this bleached linen from Reaper to my mix. Yeah, and it's got just a hint already of that peat of the pale color in there that pale skin and hopefully this will be a little bit more opaque there we go see i want to cover yeah perfect okay so let's let's do this on her face is it coming out sort of oh there's a little bit of dry Dry, dry tip. Always get that off. Now. There we go. See? A little bit of xenithal. Okay, now, um, trying to lighten up her top a little bit. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and rinse that out. <laughs> 2020 is I'm finally back down to my pre-COVID weight, Mikey. I, uh, I gained like 20 pounds during the lockdown because of eating my feelings. I just I, I basically had started losing weight after ReaperCon last year, not this year, last year. I had started losing weight. I'd gotten I'd lost 20 pounds and then I gained it all back after COVID and now I've, I've lost it again. So I'm back down to what I was right before COVID. And I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with where I'm at. So, well, I'm going to keep going, but I'm very happy with my progress. So. And I've been doing a lot of walking, I know. 
<laughs> it's so frustrating to like lose something, get it back, lose it again. So basically, I lost a total of 40, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's more just because my anxiety it's it's less to do with odd what thank you so much don you're getting is that for is that for shipping or is that for is that for um the music goal we've got a goal up here for music which i i needed to add to because we had some other we had some other things Thank you so much, Don. Let us know, is that gonna be, is that for the music drive? This is a music drive we're, we're working on right now. $19.40. Isn't it weird? Must be a currency exchange, 1940. And then we're gonna, let's see, 202. Didn't we have, we had extra, hold on, where was the last one? We had another donation last time that I forgot to add in. Yeah, we sh we're higher than that right now, aren't we? Yeah, we're higher than that right now. We're at 213.90. So we added another 13.90. Postage, music, whatever you need. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going we're gonna to put it toward the music donation. Real quick, i got to add this up because I need to keep track of where we're at so that we can figure it out. Hold on a second. Where's my adding machine? Here we go. All right, we had 202 and then we're, we had an additional 1390 the other day. And then we got an additional 1940 today. So that's a total of 235.30. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Hold on, hold on. Music donation drive, there we go. Oh, that's the shipping donation drive, that's the wrong one. I wish I could just fix this every time. All right, so let's end that, and then we're gonna put four, just four more metal music. And then we had a goal of 400, which we're getting really, really close to. And then we're starting at 2, 235. And I don't know why the bot doesn't update this for me. 40. There we go. Is that right? Okay. And we'll end that um, October, we'll end that in the end of October, okay? 30, 2020. There we go. Boom! Thank you so, so much for your donation. That really will help us. You had the notification from Royal Mail. The shipment is on its way. Yay! That's great. Yeah, I, I say everybody's stuff. Everybody who got um, giveaways from me in September. I'm going to switch gloves. I'm worried that there's too much paint on my hands right now. Yeah, everybody who got donations from me for September, for September, those are all shipped out and you should be getting them shortly. If you need a tracking number, you should, you might have already gotten it in your email, just like Bachelor said. Thank you, Bachelor. All right, real quick. Yeah, it's going to be in Chicago for a while. Chicago is one of the worst hubs. And it tends to go back and forth and back and forth in customs there. And I don't know why, but it's such a pain. Hang on, this isn't working. Let's try this one. I need like talcum powder to put on my hands. Well, at least it's in Chicago already because I think I sent it a few days ago. So that's good. Is it? Look at this. I can't get my glove on because my hands are sweaty. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to use gloves. Oh. Do I have anything to dry my hands off with? Let's see. Maybe I've got... 
Hmm. We'll try one more time with the gloves. They're being annoying. Okay. And I'm worried, meanwhile, I've got paint drying in the cup. Let me put some more thinner stuff in here. <laughs> it's through apparently oh wow well like i said sometimes it goes back and forth so we'll see oh there's something blocking it what is happening there we go there we go now it's going down see All right, that's much better. All right, I still see paint at the bottom of this. I'm gonna put in, hmm, that was thinner and, okay. Good afternoon, Teviston, how are you? What have you been doing? I like that emote. That's such a cute one. Who is that? Team Hayes. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got a mostly clean cup now. I'm going to wipe it out with my paper towel. Good. I want to use some kind of lightest white, light whitish color, or maybe even, do I have, maybe even, some, mm, is that going to be light enough? Might not be light enough. Let's try it. Let's add a little bit of, we'll add a little bit of white to it and see what happens. You went shopping today and you have an appointment. Uh huh. What you, did anything, did you find anything fun while you were shopping? Okay, that goes there. This goes on the white linen. Shall we mix the bleach? Yeah, let's mix the bleach linen with this pink color so it, we get a kind of an off. I love, I love the Pro Krill because it's already thin, a little thinner. Just a tiny bit. And then the bleach linen. Oh, of course it's going to be plugged. Here we go. KM, KDM booty, always. Okay, so that's going to desaturate the heck out of that paint. Which might be okay. Yes. Oh, that's a very pretty pale pink. It's super pale. I like it. Let's try it. Okay, and I'm going to pitch that because I don't need that anymore. Ooh, did you see that spider? There we go. Okay, we're going to do this layers. Very soft layers. Yes, it's working. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do the top of this beer, beer mug. Oh, I like. Okay, this is perfect. Can I get this to come out better? There we go. Spidered on me. There we go. Okay. 
Gonna lighten up that leg some. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot of work to finally get the light face. There we go. Now. Okay. Let's do this arm real quick. Much better. All right. I am just going to go back over. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use some primer. I'm going to go ahead and dump this and add a little primer to it. Sometimes I paint with the primer, and this is a really good time to do that. You're so psyched to see you airbrush. I'm starting to use mine a lot more. It's very helpful. Good. I learned a lot of my airbrushing from Angel Hidalves. He's probably the best. Him and Aaron Lovejoy are the best people to learn airbrushing from. They're both experts. And, of course, Julio Cabos. All right, this is white. So, hold on. I need to look at her box art. She has white socks, white top, and a white garter. And we're going to, of course, do some OSL on her little lantern as well. All right, so let's go back in here on her socks. And I'm, there, I'm just being very, very careful. And I'm just going around her socks. Trying to get a very pinpointed See, if I want to, I can get a very distinct dot. Oopsie, now that's too high up her leg, but that's okay. I get it. So you get that white on there. Okay, now I'm going to go on her shirt. I'm going to try to basically paint this top that she's wearing on the top of her beer. There you go. So I'm using the primer as my paint. See, get that apron. Okay. So cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to hit her hair a little bit. See if I can get it to come out. There we go. There we go. That's better. All right. Good, good, good. Get that glove. And again with the beer. See, we're going back over some of the stuff. There's some shading there that can stay there. That's okay. All right, now let's get this glove. Okay. All right, I think most of the airbrushing is done, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this through. Yep, we got lots of booty on this one. She's got a big old booty. Let's go ahead and clean this out, and then we're going to have fun and paint. we got two hours of painting to do. So it took us about an, air, an hour of airbrushing and priming to base coat and everything. Get the skin just right, which I think it looks pretty good. Let's 
let you see that. There we go. Okay. Pull out all that dyed paint on the side there. Run that through one more time. See, I like it when it's real clear like that. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. Okay. All right. We're going to shut the airbrush off, mask off, gloves off. Everything. The layers. Oh my goodness. And now you get to see these crazy marks on her face. Ah! I need like an after the airbrush mask. Look at this crazy. That'll like make me look young. Not. <laughs> okay. You guys can hear me okay? Sounds good. Let's, let's put all of my airbrush stuff back on the airbrush station. Over here. Okay. Trying to tartar. Okay. Now, this is where the magic happens. I want to take a peek here. I'm going to mix up this apron. I think we're going to go with the blue apron. I think it'll be really cute. So let's do that. It looks like a, a soft blue. Hmm. I need my wet palette here to be wet. I'm going to add some water. If you've never seen me prep an, um, if you've never seen me prep a wet palette, here's how I do it. I'm gonna put that, put the water in. There's not too this this I put just the right amount, I think. Maybe not. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Any excess, I'm gonna just pour right back out. It doesn't need to have too much just needs to be saturated and then put the sheet down. Try not to get the inside of the sheet wet, but just the edges of the sheet wet and then smooth out all these bubbles. It's even better if you can do it all in one go and then it, it's really nice. There, see, we get all these bubbles. So there's no surface. So there's no surface tension that is missing there. So nice, just like this. There's a few bubbles. Try to get those out if you can. And again, go around the edges. Try not to get the inside of the thing wet. Get Yeah, get, get an old credit card, exactly. Or, or some kind of like frequent shopper card or whatever. All right, let's mix up blue. This is one of those things where I really want to just... I don't have that color ready mixed. It's a desaturated gray blue. So I think if I take, this is a dark gray blue. If we take this and maybe add a little bit of gray, possibly to a light gray, what happens? Ooh, there we go. That, actually, you know what I wanna add? I wanna add some of this pink to it. Isn't that funny? Let's see what happens. Cause then, it, then it's definitely gonna be harmonious cause we've already got that on her skin and it's such a yes you see it made the perfect color look it's really really uh, it's a little bit brighter than that shall we desaturate it some more oh we're getting closer i think i know it is a very pretty oh see it does, it does have a little gray in it. Just a little bit of gray. Where is my... Apparently... Mm -mm -mm. That's coal black. Here it is. This is bright neutral gray. We'll add a little bit of this. 
Ooh, yeah, I think that's going to work. We'll get that denim blue. Ooh, maybe. Did it do anything? It's a dirty, it's a dirty color, isn't it? Maybe if we just use this, it doesn't match, does it? Um, let's go back up. That might be better. Go back up. That's a little bit closer. Hmm. What about a tiny, tiny bit of brown to do just to muddy it? Schmuck. Yes, exactly. Let's put a little bit of brown in it. Aha! I think that's it. It I thought it was gray, but it was a little bit of brown. That's a lot closer. That's I'm going to go with that. You mostly struggle to mix gray greens. Why is green more difficult than blue? That's a good question. You, have you been tested for color blindness? I know one in eight men have struggle with a color deficiency and green is one of those. You might be missing, missing a cone. Okay. This is really close. All right. I'm going to take glasses off. Let's put in a nice, cool, chill music. Hold on. Let's do EDM chill track. Here we go. That's nice. I like that. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Okay. Perfect. We are defective. <laughs> The best thing I learned from doing Oktoberfest Aya Vallejo Snow makes a great start for extra beer. Beer foam. Oh, okay. I'll look at that. I don't think I have Vallejo Snow, but I'll look. Get tested every trip to the opticians. Yeah? Well, then I don't know. So I want you to notice how I'm painting this. I'm going to paint the edges of, of her outfit first. I need a little bit more water to get a little bit more flow. I'm painting the edges first. Um, and this, this is thin, thinned out blue. I, I thinned it out with just a little water so that it would just kind of settle in the crevices a little bit and that pink will maybe end up a highlight a little bit. See? Once I get my edges painted, I can then I can go faster in the middle. I need it to be a little bit thicker on the edges because that way I can control where the paint is going. This, this brush is a little bit heavier bodied so it can hold on to a lot more paint, but that means I need to be a lot more careful where, where I put the brush. Okay. See, like I said, I can go a lot faster in the middle now. That's a, such a pretty color. All right, I need to look at my my thing here. She's got it kind of it's like a almost like a drindle drindle um smock. It goes up under her chest, but it then it wraps around up here. And I just got a little bit on her leg. See, I can wipe that off quick. I might be able to fix that. Hmm. Okay, I see how this works. 
This is so tricky. I'm going to get a smaller brush because I'm scared that I'm going to lose my brush control. Nope, not that one. Do I have a good one that's small? That one's good. This is a good one. All right, back to the tricky stuff here. Much better. Much better. Oh, she's going to be so cute. And just because I want to get the right, it, this, this particular paint is a little grainy, so I may need to go back in a little bit and paint it more opaque. Uh-oh, I see another little splooch over here. Can I get it off? Nope. So I can go back in with my pink, maybe and cover it maybe not maybe I can't cover it there we go there we go I'll just leave that Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, so then. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this whole bodysuit thing here with the blue. Paint the edge. Can you imagine how much better this would be if I wasn't on stream? <laughs> there we go. Okay, another edge. Whew, that was tricky. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. There. Where's my pink? Okay. I feel like I need to go in again with my blue because it did get kind of grainy over here with the water. Much better now. Some, this is what we call sedimentary paint. Sedimentary paint has those particles of a uh, pigment that you can see. All right, I'm gonna flip her. Ooh, this is really, really tricky. That's pretty good. Now, she's got that little ribbon in front. I really want to paint this as high quality as I can. We're going to be giving, doing her, um, she's going to be one of our um, auction pieces. 
one of our auction pieces for the we're having a, a silent auction silent or what what do you call it? like a blind auction there we go okay now let's do the arm cuff and I'll put my glasses back on um okay so it's just around a wrist Not bad. This brush, this brush has got a cat hair on it and a loose hair. There we go. I got it. So many different distracting things. Ah, hold on. I got to mix some skin tone on here because I can see spots on her that are distracting me. that I've got blue on her skin and it's, I gotta get that, I gotta clean that up now. Oh, blurp. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Okay, let's mix this with a little bit of that. That's better. If it's just a little thing, I'm not going to worry about it as much. A little bit of that peach. There we go. That, that worked really well. All right, so that is all drying. Let's go back one more time, do one more coat on her bodysuit because apparently hmm. Hmm, it looks like I miss it doesn't match the artwork we're gonna figure something out that's okay we'll just leave it in the back Oh, she's so pretty. Her eyes are gorgeous. And the shoes. That's the last blue thing. Okay, let me look at the chat while I get all the paint off my glasses. <laughs> You're suffering from post mini blues. Wait, wait, wait. You need to start doing more work on bases. You tend to be so ready to be done with a model that you don't want to do anything fancy. You know what, pun expected, one of the things I've done in the past is do a whole bunch of bases um, that you have ready to put minis on. That helps a lot. Holy crap, legit module. Yeah, yeah, lessness. But you got to get the legit because, and here's the thing, just wait because they're probably going to come out for the October sale. So just wait. The October sale hasn't happened yet. And so that means um, it still could. Which means at the end of the month, you could you could get a legit model for the price of retail. Don't don't spend the money on it just yet. I feel pretty confident that she comes out every year, but I could be wrong. Okay, she's got white laces, so we're going to leave the laces alone. Just get the light sides of these high tops. Do they wear high tops at Oktoberfest in Germany? I feel like maybe no. This is going to be so cute. So yeah, paint the edge first. And 
I'm gonna get this might be one of those models that would have been easier to paint subassembled probably Is that too close to you guys? Is that better? There we go. Okay, now we're flipping to the other side. I'm going to hold her like this. See how I paint those edges first? Paint the edge just like a coloring book. And then because what happens is you end up painting clean. And there we go. Now we can color it in like a coloring book right here. When you paint clean, it looks it looks much better than if you just um Even if, if, even if it's not shadowed, shaded and highlighted, if it's clean, it's going to look a million times better. Okay, I need to make sure to get the back of that. You probably can't see this because I'm, I'm barely able to see it. All right, now we get this side of this shoe. more water okay Woo. The, the shoes are a little bit darker than the than this than the um the, the outfit which is fine and we can put some of that blue into the shadows to mimic the shoes just a little bit maybe there we go it's got a little bit of um wet paint so it's a little bit of wet blending already and then this bit right here is nice put that paint down in there and then that's this is basically similar to two brush blending what i'm doing right now but i'm using just one brush There we go. I would like to maybe put a blue wash on that, but I'm not sure. It's just, oh, I found more, more dots on her arm. This is the same place every time too. Cleaning up as we go, every time. See how I did that? Shaded it down. Now take just the wet brush and just smooth that out. All right. Let's do her 
Her garter is interesting because on the box it's definitely white, but it's not at all on her leg. Hmm. All right, let's mix some of this gray with some of this brown. We're going to get a light, light, light brown. There we go. And she's got some little, maybe I need that to be darker brown. Hold on. That is mahogany. That I don't want that. There we go. Ooh, I almost twisted that off. There we go. Much better. So this is that light gray pastel color on the mug. I like that color. It's still a little grainy, kind of like the blue was. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go straight over that little emblem because I'm going to paint that on a separate layer. All right, let me look at chat because I know I'm ignoring you guys. I'm so sorry. Do I need to finish? I don't need to finish early today. We're going to keep painting. It's awesome. Lesna says, I love these pinup models, but holy crap, it's hard to get some expensive, I know. So like I said, just wait for the sale. How much did the holiday one? I think 54, but you get, you get two models with it, Lesna. So you get, you get the holiday, so you also get a game card with most of the holiday models. I will show you here in one second, once I finish getting this mug painted. See, this is where I might like a little bit of heavy body brush because I like to have a lot of paint in my brush so I can paint faster. Okay, let's, let's show you what comes in this box here. We'll do a little box opening. So obviously you get the beautiful art on the box. And there's some kind of corn god or something on that side. This is what you get. So this is game content in addition. $50 for Twilight Night and the holiday kits are a decent price for what you get. Yeah. If you play the game. So there's a little drunk Aya. So cute. I'm going to set that right here so I can look at her be nice if the production was scaled to demand <laughs> that wouldn't that be nice for everything <laughs> all right this is a durandal a weapon it's ethereal when you depart with one sh shield or less at each hit location after all other departing bonuses add armor equal to your courage to all hit locations and it's Two six nine, which is pretty decent. And then on the back it says, "Pattern gear ethereal. A survivor must be insane and depart with a savior to wear it." Oh, that's really unfortunate. When the settlement has no savior, archive it. Okay, so this is part of the pattern gear. Those are special. These are special cards. This one says 008. After death brew, it's consumable, it's an item, it's soluble, and it's other. All right, so your action is you can consume this and gain five bleeding tokens. What? Don't you die if you get five bleeding tokens, Mike? Mike, what? Do you get? Do you die when you get five bleeding tokens? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. So during the aftermath, roll a d10 for each survivor that died from bleeding tokens on a nine plus the brew saves their life but makes them death that doesn't make any sense that's a weird one isn't it the weapon is op and it has a use time limit uh, okay <laughs> 
that's a really I don't think you'd ever use this this after brew death or after death maybe after you die you can no you can't do that I don't know I don't know what that means brave drindle drindle oh this is so cute look at the brave drindle once per lifetime when you are a returning cyber survivor this is the only armor you're wearing and this is the only armor you're wearing gain plus one courage if your settlement has song of the brave gain plus one permanent strength too this is this makes no sense to wear either in a game no <laughs> some of these cards i don't even know all right here's the drindle Durandal. Okay, here's the Brave Journal. Cheerful song after a brush with death inspires a festive outfit. The hem short bottom short for freedom of movement. You can tell this is just we're being trolled. You gave up trying to play the game at all. You just want the mini, so you really don't want to try and get into a board game that's so hard to get stuff for. No, and obviously these are jokes. I mean, these are just for fun. Compliment outfit with cute but tough looking leather accessories. Oh my god. Two cloth, one leather. So this is how you craft it, I guess. That is so funny. Hear gleeful music. Zen for one. Thank you for the host. I'm just curious. Waxy seal ensures the drinker thinks twice before quaffing. I guess you get insight from Malone Tree. Allows fermented brew to disperse dangerous gases through the semi-porous clay <laughs> skimmer often to remove impurities to prevent fruit from bursting okay what all right so these are just silly anyway you get those cards you get this beautiful art card i'm gonna put her i'm gonna put that in the box and then lastly, I'm going to show you the two models that you get. You get a sprue, and it has the big one here, and it also has a small one. See, there's a, there's a little bit. No, that's the big one. There's a small Aya here. She's got a big. She's got that big knife that was part of the cards. There she is. It looks like there's two, two of them, but I don't know. Sometimes they, oh, I get it. So you can have the alternate drindles. You can have one with that with a butt and one with a covered butt. That's nice. I like that. You love how you can tell she's drunk. Yes. With the little dots by her face. All right, real quick. I'm going to switch our music up. Nope. Good. It's, there we go. Okay. We're back to painting her some more. I really like this white top. All right, so now, shall we work on her face or let's, let me see what her shoes look like real quick. I think we've got to check her feet. All right, we'll go with the leather accessories real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, glasses are going to come back off. I think you might assemble and paint your wet nurse today. That would be awesome. Get it done. That's, that's one I have not worked on yet. And to be really honest, I'm not ex really excited about it, so I'm not sure if I'll get it done. I need to get it done, though. I'm, I made a promise that I would try to get all of the Kingdom Death expansions done and painted before the second, um, before the second or third, sorry, third or fourth wave comes out. I don't think that's going to happen. She's a little bit darker brown on that. Okay, now, I 
Has anybody seen the movie Interstellar? Mike and I just re-watched it again, and I really, really liked it. I've seen it this I've seen it before, but that was like it came out in 2014. So it's been a long time. But I really enjoyed it again. I'm looking for my white. There it is. Put a little bit of white on the palette. I'm going to show you how, since I didn't originally use a bright white, actually she doesn't even have a real bright white on. She has, we should probably watch this. I'm going to take this brown, I'm going to paint these buttons. And then we're going to go back over them with the white. Okay. I want to do a tiny, thin... Thin. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Let's see if I can replicate it. Okay, that's close enough. Now... We can get these buttons with the white. See? It'll look like it has a shadow around it. Isn't that nice? Then on the little these. See, this is going to make it look a little bit more like cloth. Put this little highlight on these fabric folds. Very faint. And then again, let's do that over here on this There we go. Tricky. There's some more up here. This is the hardest part. But I'm only using white on those really high highlights. See, I don't, I don't even think you'll be able to tell. Right. I'm just going to go over these, these ribbons with the white and the blue mixed together to give a little bit of a Hmm, where's my white? There we go. Tricky, tricky. Ah, there's more. So if we go in here in the brown, The whole thing is going to have that pastel, but we have to paint the dark in first to then go in over that with the light. Let's see if I can make it happen here. I'm using the brown to dark line a little bit to make that drop shadow. I'm not using black because it'll be too, it'll be too intense. Let's 
See, that already looks better than if I just used black. If you get two holiday models in the box, then you'll definitely wait and try. Yeah, try it. Hi, Warpsman 2. Hi, our staff. How are you? And Ailey is here too. Dr. Pentateca, your boyfriend just had a look over my screen and was wondering, why are you wearing a cap? Um, yeah, I'll tell you. So, there's a couple reasons. I have a huge forehead because my dad had a huge forehead. <laughs> And I like the Broncos, which is, this is a Broncos hat, and my dad was a Broncos fan. So let's just blame my dad. <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't, I don't always have the time to get, you know, together and do my hair super cute. So I will wear a cap, because, like, my ponytail is fine, but it doesn't look that cute on screen, so... I started wearing, yeah, go Broncos, exactly. So I started wearing a cap to help me kind of be able to have something cute to wear, yeah. Sorry, boyfriend. <laughs> I love you guys, but I, um, I don't think I should have to do any more effort than most of the male streamers do just to, to stream for you. <laughs> hey, the Malice Conspiracy, how are you? Let's do overhead real quick. Here we go. Sometimes I like to wear band bandanas. That's a good idea. I don't I don't know. I don't have any bandanas right now, so I'd have to I'd have to buy some. Okay, I'm going in and painting this little wrist wristband here. Oh, all right, let's look at this now. Yeah, on the model, I don't think she has a little pocket. On the picture, she has a pocket, but not on the model. Let's go ahead and do her little collar. She does have a little collar around her neck. Oh, and I see, I see a tiny hair that I got to get off. There we go. Yo! Brush just jumped out of my hand. Oh yeah, that's right, the Malice Conspiracy. It's so funny. How are you doing? <laughs> true, that is true. Not all male streamers phone it in. That is true. But you don't have to get all makeup and everything like that either. Okay, there we go. Let's do the other side of her ponytail. Hold on, let me flip it. There we go. This was very, very chill today. I need to look at this. All right, we're going to go. I'm going to paint the whole um, locket as well. There's a little locket down here. Paint that whole thing brown as well. All right, and let's go back into the blues. There, that's better. Whew. 
I feel like I want to do something cute with the blue. Let's add a little bit of pink. I want to highlight some of the There we go. That's that's already looking tons better that way. Woo. It's not as dirty as as it was on the box art, but I think that's I can deal with that. I'm losing my, for some reason, my palette is drying out a little bit. Let's go back with that pink. That There's just enough of the pink. There. Oh, that's looking so much better already. Pink is in her blouse and now it's kind of popping out as a highlight here. See? I'm going to go back over that with blue one more time. Okay. Getting better. Now The white. I'm trying to make this shirt look very white. Now, I don't know, I feel like I want to just do this. I had the pink, but the maybe the white and the blue will be more interesting to me. Yeah, I like that a lot. Sometimes we have to go two steps up and then come st one step down. We talked about that before. She's starting to get some definition. All right, what's left? Let's do her face. Let's do her face and then we're going to do her hair. So. Will you, yes, I will be auctioning this off. Plus, on your, your focus is on your work. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly. <laughs> Blinds auctions have been via Google Doc and they work really well. Not sure if this will be the same. It 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 might have a little bit of a higher base price, but I think it'll it'll still be it'll still be on there. Cause look at how cute she is. All right, what is next? Um, we're gonna we're doing the face now. So she's supposed to look a little drunk. Let's go ahead and do this peachy color across her face to give her that kind of drunky, drunky blush. I love it. Oh, we just got another subscriber, McLeod. How are you? Shoshi time, yeah. How are you, McLeod? Let's write your name down. 
14 months. Thank you so much for your subscription. What are the skin colors? Yeah, no, please always, always ask. Everybody is totally okay. So Belange, the first color we used is rosy flesh and we airbrushed that on. We ended up like putting some of this cadmium skin down and then we used some pale flesh. Then, I know it was crazy, we used a little bit of Reaper Masters bleached linen mixed with a little bit of Pro Acryl Pale Pink. So let me show you, because you can, you can get an idea of what we did. Do you see the difference between these two? This one has a little bit more yellow in it than this one does. This is a lot more cold. These, are, these three are all pretty warm and these two are cold, so, but we, we highlighted with these. Bye, Double Fruity. And I dropped my brush. We have a ways to go. We're gonna fa we're gonna finish this face. Um, and I have some. Here's a good brush. This is a nice detail brush I can use for the face. Okay. So her that's much more red. Her little blushy face. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of transparent red. I'm going to water that down so much, so much. Just so it's barely, it's mostly water. Here we go. And we're going to put this across her nose and face. That's gonna look amazing once we get her eyes and everything painted in there. She's actually got like a little drool, <laughs> a little drool in the, in the artwork. That's so funny. She's so drunk. Drunky my Uncle Drinky. I've gotta cover her, her chin. She's got a little blue on her chin right there. Okay, now let's see, we're ready to paint her eyes. I think this is drying a little bit. I'm just gonna smooth out some of the tide lines that transparent made. There, that's perfect. Okay, so the eyes, let's put that white in there first. I'm doing this very differently than I've done eyes before. I'm going to make them in that like manga style. So I don't see any black on them. All right, I'm going to let that dry. That's adorable. Let that dry. looks like we're gonna do the brown we're gonna we need to let that dry completely though first I'm gonna use that brown and a little bit of this red to do her eyebrows Sorry. Technical, technical. That's cute. Okay. Now the white is dry. White dries very fast, so that's a good thing. We're going to make the whole... And it's pretty easy to see, actually, where her 
eye circle goes because it's sculpted in. It's going to be tricky to get exactly even though. So then on the top of the eye, So I'm doing that top lid. Plus the iris. There we go. Well, it bled a little bit. Let's go back and touch up the sclera a little bit more. Mm, I hate that when it bleeds. This is weird. There's actually um, there. That's better. Okay, same thing on the other side. Let's do the eyelid for the, or the sorry the uh, the eyelash. That's what I keep trying to say. I highly recommend that you look at the artwork when you're painting this. Because these, these eyes, um, this manga style is kind of what defines these, these models. Boy, I wish I had a little bit of drying retarder in my brush. There we go. That's not so bad. Oh, that was very tough. And now I'm going to just touch it up just a little bit. Oh my goodness, maybe not. Sometimes I just leave it alone if it looks okay. I think I might do the eyebrows darker. Okay. I'm going to do the inside of her mouth. She does have some teeth, so I'm going to have to get those too. Let's add a little bit of pink, a uh, little bit of pink to her lips. Bear with me guys, I, I need to add a little bit of this darker flesh because it's not working out how I want it to. There we go, that's much better. Face is one of the toughest parts for a model for me. Okay. And let me do her lip, her upper lip.
Yeah, that worked actually. Let's do that again. I just exaggerated her lip a little bit. And then let's exaggerate her bottom lip a little bit as well. And like I said, she does have a little tooth. Which is going to kill me. Oh. Okay. Now, this is the part where I'm going to exaggerate again. I'm going to use a really bright green for her eyes. For the anime eyes. Sometimes you have to... <laughs> you think it's amazing? <laughs> yeah, I have... When I have my glasses off, what's the... Yeah, what is the Yiddish word for drunk? I think it's similar to the German word, which is... Drunken, I think. Hold on, let me check. <laughs> so interesting. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is so funny. So if you are hopelessly drunk, you are for schnicket. Do you like that? For schnicket. If you're hopelessly drunk, you're for schnicket. F E R S H N I K I T. For schnicket. <laughs> I bet there's more words. It's, that's when you're so drunk you can't function. You're for schnicket. Like, it's like schnockered. It's kind of like schnockered. For schnicket. Is schnockered? Schnockered might actually be Yiddish. <laughs> what is the word for drunk? Like hopelessly drunk in your... If you're bilingual, what's the word for hopelessly drunk in your language? I want to see what, what we come up with that's schnockered. <laughs> sounds it <laughs> yeah you plan to get hopelessly drunk you plan to get for schnickered schnockered troll trolleyed <laughs> yeah a trolleyed <laughs> now, <laughs> now when you say trolleyed does that mean like you're so drunk that you have to be taken home in a like a baby trolley is that what trolley means or is it like a shopping cart Let's see Trolleyed. I love it. Wrecked. <laughs> Wrecked. All right, I'm going to put, put these eyes in. Oh, they're a little too round, but that's okay. They're supposed to be more half moons. That one's better. That one's much better. You could see the bright green pops. There we go. I'm going to give her a little bit of a half lid here on this one. See if I can. Mike, can you turn that off? There we go. Now I'm going to use a little black. Black, I think, on anime eyes for the pupil and for the... All right, let's see how I'm going to make her look. Okay, so she doesn't have a strong pupil. I'm going to do her, her upper eyelid. Let's 
There we go. Cute. Now let's do the little inner inner light. This should be kind of half onto the green and half onto the pupil. And if I end up wiping out the pupil, then that's okay, I guess. Ugh. That didn't work. Okay, let's try this again. So cute. She kind of looks a deer in the headlights a little bit. That's cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> let's go back into her skin one more time. I'm going to fix her chin and her lip. There we go. All right, let's go for the hair. The hair is really red, but orangey red. Hmm. Let's go with this dark orange, dark burnt red, and then we'll we'll wet blend some of it with this red. Actually, hmm. I kind of want to add the little bit of this red. This is a transparent orange. Okay. Let's do the transparent orange first. I mix a little bit of red with it. Oh yeah. So the transparent red and orange mixed. Ooh. That's better. I'm going to mix a little bit of transparent brown with this. It's not quite dark enough. I'm using the transparents because they're just very vibrant. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is the color I needed, especially underneath her hairline right here. And it just goes over that white so nice. We could do a couple layers of this actually. Let's do a little bit more red in the front. That's, I don't know why that's so. Yay! What happened? Let me see. Chris. Chris R&R, &R, thank you for following. Thank you so much. It's Yes, it's, it is like an auto highlight, isn't it? The transparent is really nice. And it's a lot less, lot less work. Remember how I told you guys I, I, I think a little bit ahead and I try to think about how can I paint something with less steps? And this is one of them. Those transparent paints are a dream. Okay, I'm gonna flip her upside down while I try to paint. So if I paint away from her face, I'm less likely to goof it up. I'm painting down into her hair. It's so much easier this way. Oh, that's so adorable. <gasps> I love her. All 
add some more red in that. I'm gonna add just a little bit of solid red back here. It's not transparent, it's this actual opaque red. I just added a little bit to my transparent to thicken it up. Go ahead and back, go back into the brown. See how careful I'm being? I'm trying to be careful. Okay, a little bit more into this red. It's drying really nice. I'm looking for the spots up here where I might have missed. There we go. A little bit more red in there. Oh, she's flipping around on me. See where I added a little bit of that opaque red? Maybe if I were to paint this uh, um, all over again, I might consider um, subassembling her because this is a little bit tricky back here with her hair. Yeah, I can't reach quite. I'm going to try. Ah, that was scary. I did it though, I think. Nope, I got a little bit on her shoulder. That's okay. I'm gonna little... Let's see if I can wipe that off. Yeah, because the transparents are a little bit easier to deal with. Here's that opaque red a little bit again. Just kind of got that raggedy. Aunt Aya has red hair. That's what really makes her stand out from the other. I think she was a white speaker, wasn't she? Somebody, does anybody know? In, the, in lore, what she is. I feel like she, Aya is a white speaker. White speaker Aya, maybe? I'm gonna flip her again. Second, second coat. So cute, so cute. Okay, did she? Very different from the from the photo. Hold on one second. Okay. I ended up wiping off some of the paint back here. Add a little bit of brown transparent to that. She is so cute. Now, she does have, she 
she does have white hair, but uh, I think it's going to look better if I go back to the blue and just paint it all the way up. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely subassemble this again, you know, if I had to do this over. Just because of all the stuff covered by her hair, I didn't even think about. Whew, and now her hair is wet and I'm trying to paint the back of her top. Maybe I'll mess with that after stream. <laughs> no, I think I'm getting it. Okay, good. Oy vey. All right, that's adorable. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. She's so pale and cute. Let's do her hair, bo hair bow, which now we know has this white. Remember to do ads show she's minis if you want to get my attention. I promise I'm trying. I'm not trying to ignore you. Does anybody actually, would anybody be interested in having her in the auction? Even if she, if she were like a little bit higher priced than a normal, like, what do you think? I could work on her some, so she's worth it. She won't be crazy price. We'll just give her a, like a little base. I'd like to get a minimum of $50 on her for sure. I know that's still really low, but that's like a good, you like to, you like the bid on her? Okay. <laughs> what are those, tra the transparent paints, I highly recommend. So if you go down into my profile, I have a link to Monument. I actually get a little um, commission from them because I'm an affiliate with them. And they, these paints are fantastic. These transparent paints, they dry matte and they're awesome. Yeah, you maybe have enough Shoshi pieces for now. Yeah, you want, you got to get the new four ones, the new four before. Yeah, use the link and also use my code Shoshi sent me when you buy. So use the link, but also put Shoshi sent me in the code and the first order you'll get 10% off your order. And Jason is working on that with uh, with the European side because um, very soon, oh, I cannot remember. It was uh, Carlos, are you here? Do you remember the name of the people who are gonna be doing the distributing? Or somebody else, does somebody else know the? You're in. In your Discord, work in progress, you can see my base. Okay, I'll take a look at it. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it on a, on work, work in progress day, too. That's going to be next week. All right, where's my box here? We're getting close. Look at how cute. She's like box art level, huh? Oh, wait, you know what? I didn't get her, her other glove here. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's better. Bear with me. I'm trying to. Oh, it's too thin. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to tomorrow's flight. 
to Michigan. We're going to go see Lamunas. I haven't seen you. When was the last time I saw you? It was like two Adepticons ago. So it's been over a year. It's going to be so great. Get some barbecue. You don't like Mike. <laughs> I love barbecue. Don't be spreading lies. All right, there we go. Okay, wait, we need to do this headband. I'm sorry. Let's get that blue back. That beautiful blue for her hair bow. Uh-oh, there was some red that got mixed into that blue. There we go. Fix it. Found a barbecue place in Michigan that we can eat outside. Hopefully it won't be too cold, but either way, it will be safe. There we go. So some of the brown transparent over here did something. It I kind of had a weird effect. So I'm going to use some of this dark red. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. the dark dark red brown so I'm not so sure about the transparent I think it works pretty good but I think I should have just used the opaque maybe I was trying to cut corners too much but that's how you learn stuff right but we learned maybe that maybe that technique that we made that mistake on We'll be able to go back and do that on something else and it'll be the perfect technique for it. She's got like Ronald McDonald hair. I'm saying. Okay. Now with the red, just gonna whip on that in a little bit on the top. Adorbs, adorbs. Okay. Somebody said, somebody mentioned something that we could use for the beer. She's got such a big booty. And you know what's funny is her shield arm ends up covering up most of her butt. Wait, I think. Yeah, it does. Isn't that funny? We're going to pick out some colors for the shield. It needs to be kind of a... A golden color? Hmm. Let's use the Chimera. Let's use this. This is a nice golden acrylic. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what you guys are saying. What's Michigan barbecue like? That's a good question. I don't think Michigan is famous for their barbecue. Neither is Illinois. But you never know because sometimes they get transplants and we get people from Texas and Kansas City and you know Missouri and places where barbecue is famous so you really can't judge yeah 
Oh, Element Games. Okay, thank you, Carlos. So if you guys go find Element Games, they're going to be carrying Monument products. These, uh, these, they're going to be carrying a Pro Krill. Um, not, they're just starting to. They haven't. I don't know if they are right now, but they're going to be carrying it. And, um, oh yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful color. I need to make that nice and opaque. Anyway, they're going to be carrying Monument and Jason is working on with them to see about having them carry, have my coupon code. So he's going to be talking to them soon, but at least you can, you can find the shop and get ready because people in the UK and in Europe will be able to get their products from him. I just blew on it to get rid of the bubbles. I'm just going to paint this whole shield gold. There we go. This is definitely one I would have airbrushed if I would have had more time. Okay, that is gorgeous yellow. Let's go over here. We're going to desaturate with a little bit of this pink, some of this, paint this beer color. I put a little bit of that pink into that ochre. We can add a little bit more ochre toward the bottom here. Remember how I said I wanted that pastel look from the box? That's what I'm completely going for. Okay. Let's go with more solid yellow on the bottom of this mug. Pastel again. Little beer foam drips on the side. And then this this little emblem here is supposed to be gold. Some of this I'm painting this a little darker on spots so that I can highlight it up later. Okay. Do, 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 do. I hate how white gets so chalky. It's so annoying. There we go. Oh, my goodness, goodness. Okay. Let's do, I just want to finish her shield and see how that pulls it all together. Let's use a little bit of this transparent brown on this now that this is dry. See that watercolor look I wanted? This is awesome. So excited about this. Let's 
gives a little bit more water. Pull that down. Ugh, ugh, I love it. Let's do, so this side's gonna have a lot more brown. And it's still a little bit wet on that side, so I'm not gonna, there we go. This is just plain transparent brown brushed over the top of that yellow. Get rid of those bubbles. Okay, that is, I love that. I don't want to touch that right now because if I touch it, it's going to jack up what I've done. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Ash Gadellen is, <laughs> you're a bit far away from painting cricks. <laughs> Chanko Nabe, mmm. You made one. You made enough to feed a family of eight. <laughs> That's how good, sounds good. A hot pot dish. On my way. Okay. Now, real quick, while it's drying, where's my little thin liner brush here? There are little spots on here, like little nicks. That I'm gonna try to paint in. And I just noticed this is so annoying. There's two little pieces of like fuzz that are drying on there. I got them off, but look at it jacked up my. So we'll just turn those into a scratch. Oh, I love it. That's good. And take a little bit of this black mixed with a little bit of this brown. These lo those little scratches look really nice. I'm going in, I'm dark lining with just a little bit of the black mixed with the transparent brown. I wish I could be a little bit more careful. It's tricky. There we go. I love it. And then around each one of these little rivets. See how I, I can color around that and then dot the top so that it has a little drop shadow. finger painting okay that looks good now take a little bit of this yellow oh, 
highlight those rivets a little bit better. Oops, that one had a little bit pink in it. There, that's better. Oof. Okay. Now I'm going to take that highlighted yellow. I'm trying to think where. See that scratch? The dark line goes underneath the scratch. That's my guess anyway. I think that's how it works. If anybody knows different, please let me know. All right. Cute, cute, cute. For cartoon sake, I'm going to add a little bit more white to this yellow, and then I'm going to edge highlight. It'll feel a little bit more kind of um, manga, maybe. Yeah, I like that. You can overdo some of these uh, dark and, and light shadows. Like on a more realistic model, it might not look as good to have such bright highlights. But I think on, a, on this kind of model, it's going to have a lot of contrast. It's going to look good. Boom. She's still, I'm gonna get a little bit of this brown and I'm gonna wash it in between her fingers. Give it a little bit of, and I didn't, I didn't actually paint her gloves yet. So I gotta go back to do that, darn it. needs to be a little bit lighter. What is everybody having for dinner? Did everybody already eat? I'm get we're getting ready for dinner here, so probably going to have salmon, I think. Mike is grilling. Mike's been grilling a lot, which has been amazing. Okay, Ooh, this is this has been a very challenging model, which I didn't expect. I kind of thought she wouldn't be too hard, but it is the first time I've ever painted her, so. Let's look at this one more time. Open oh, the blue on the cuff. I think one of the reasons why that is tricky because I'm using a very small brush to paint that little spot and sometimes it's easier for me to do a bigger brush. There we go. That's so much easier to do a bigger brush. There. And that yellow.
Oh, that is so cute. Yep, let's do this. All right, before I, I'm going to take this out, I think, yep, I can take that out. And I think I'll super glue this on. I'm hoping it'll work. One of the things to do is if you've already, uh-oh, luckily she's sitting on that. Oh, man. We're going to scrape off the primer where we want it to glue. On both on both pieces okay this one doesn't have as much I'm not going to use the um, model glue because I'm worried that it will just be gel, it'll like gel on me. There we go. We're going to hold that on for just a minute. So cute. Didn't cover up too much of her booty. And then we're going to add a little bit of golden. To that part. There we go. Okay. Ooh. So I will be painting this um, barrel on my own, most likely. It's going to be really lots of transparent purple and brown and yellow it's going to be gorgeous it looks like i might need to go back and prime it again but there we go so that's our oktoberfest eye let's see what time it is do we have much more time to keep painting i think you got some paint on a finger probably i usually do hi cosmo nomad zazos i love that name that's a great after many booty comments on Facebook and elsewhere, I finally arrived to see the bootification. Let's let's show you the bootification of our drunken Oktoberfest Aya. She's still not done, but she's we got a good headway on her. I think she's going to be even better than this when we get done with her. I feel like I need to make her eyes even lighter. Squeaky, oh you like it? <laughs> Right, of course I got, of course I got, yeah, it's like, I'm like, whatever, I always get pain in my fingers. <laughs> All right, um, thankfully, like I said, those scratches are going to be under her booty. Lots more to do yet. I definitely want to, I really am happy with the shield. That's probably what I'm happiest with right now. Um. Let me add a little black to this. There we go. Got a little Kingdom Death emblem on her wrist. Got to get some dark, dark light, dark light, low lights. That's what I meant. Low lights. Kat Martin painted one of these and it looks fantastic. I love her painting. Mm. 
There we go. So, I kind of want to make this also gold. Shall I make the whole garter belt garter gold or just we'll make it white. We'll we'll, we'll go white. It'll be, it'll be interesting. See how we can highlight, highlight the already white socks and make them look more white. And I still need to do some shading. So cute. I really like her. Now this model won't come with any cards. If we auction her, it's just the model. So just so you know. Okay. Well, what time is it? Do we, I can't remember. We ha it is 518. This is probably good Good time to stomp. Original sin. Hello. Yes, I'm like, I'm looking sexy, or the model is, because I look like a schlub today. So that would be interesting if that were the truth. <laughs> Thought it was just the lid to the. Oh, that's very possible. You know what? I think no, it's not. It's a, it's like her serving tray or shield. I think it's her serving tray because we still because there's no lid to the barrel the barrel is is busted and has beer pop, pop pulling out chat is looking sexy <laughs> sheer fabric is a bit tough to line up right when painting sub assembly yeah exactly I think we're we're in a good we're gonna in a good space with her. Hold on one second. I just saw something. Oh, looks like I did get a little schmutz on her top. Oh, that sucks. I might have to. Yeah, that's not gonna. I'll just leave it. I might be able to erase it a little bit with a little bit of airbrush. Very applied, careful airbrush. Top schmutz, right? That sounds really inappropriate. How are the geckos? Did anybody get out a gecko today? Shall we get out the geckos real quick before we before we leave stream? All right, let's get out a gecko. They're doing really good. They're get they're fattening up for the winter right now. They're getting ready to go into winter brumation, which I don't know if they're gonna do this year. We'll see. Let me get Ginger Biscuit. Ginger Biscuit, she's such a good girl. She's, she's getting really chonk. But that's good because they always, they don't eat much during the winter time. See how big she is. She does not like that light. <laughs> Let's see if we can show her overhead. There we go. We blew all the dirt off of her. See how big her tail's getting? Let's put it back this way. That way. Here we go. She's not under the light that way. <laughs> she's like, Mom, it's so bright. She, where she's going? I have no idea where she's going. She's like, nope, too light, too bright. She wants to go back to her cage already. She is pretty. She's a really pretty gecko. Hello, baby. Blip. She's trying to hide. That's her fav that's their favorite thing to do is hide. <laughs> How long did this this breed African fact tails can live 15 plus years like a cat. She is four years old. She's four years old? Yes, yeah, she's four years old and peppercorn is three. 
Bleh. I know. Alright, one more quick. Nope, she don't like that light. <laughs> Alright, I'll put her back. She currently weighs like, um, what was it? 1.9 ounces, which is a good amount. <laughs> I put her back and I put the hide right next to Peppercorn instead of on top of her. <laughs> Mlem, exactly. You lost a gecko for two months and then you found him in the furnace room. Yeah, what kind of gecko did you have, Original Sin? You're really lucky. Man, they are escape artists, aren't they? All right, let's take a look. Yes, oh, look at the black and white. <laughs> gecko cheer, black and white, I love it. All right, um, let me take a quick picture because apparently, where's my phone go? Oh, no. Um, who is it? Nalindi said that I need to start taking pictures of my work before we even get in her chat. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. All right, that's works. <sighs> All right, let's find out who we're gonna who we're gonna raid. And stick with me here while we go and get ready to raid another streamer. Let's see who is on. We got Nalindi, we got Studio J7, we got Obaka TV. We haven't raided, well, he's playing a game. We're not gonna raid him. Let's go ahead and raid Studio J. He looks like he's painting some, some uh, Eldar. All right, guys, punch that raid button. Join the raid. Don't forget when you get over to Studio J's uh, channel to refresh and jump in his channel natural so he gets credit for it um we're gonna be back monday and if you checked our new schedule which is all posted up you'll be able to see that i think we're gonna start painting hold on let me check the new schedule monday we're oh we're painting more of kingdom death aya so we'll be back i, I guess i won't be working on her that much so come back and we're going to paint more in kingdom death oktoberfest aya and we'll see you on monday Alrighty, guys let me see if we're ready to raid all right bye guys have a good one